In this video, we're going to practice consonant sounds th, th. How do we pronounce written th? Th, th are a voiceless voiced consonant sound pair. The mouth, tongue, lips, teeth are in the same place. The only difference is vibration of the vocal cords. Voiceless means no vibration of vocal cords. Voiced is vibration of vocal cords. So, actually, you have one sound with two variations. And now, let's practice the, the at the end of a word. Do you know all these everyday words that end with th? And we're going to pay special attention to this group of words. Bath, bathe. Breath, breathe. Cloth, clothe. Mouth, mouth. Teeth, teeth. So test yourself. Find written th at the end of words. Is the pronunciation th, th, or irregular? First you say it, then I'll say it. The baby needs a bath. I'll bathe the baby. She has asthma. She sometimes has difficulty breathing. She sometimes has trouble catching her breath. I'm going to the fabric store to get cloth to make some clothes for the kids. Oh, and I'll need some thread, too. Parents have to feed and clothe their children. This boy and girl are trying on their new clothes. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth is a proverb that means don't be ungrateful when you receive a gift. When I was young, I was in a school chorus. Sometimes I didn't remember the words, so I would open my mouth, but not sing out loud. I just silently mouthed the words. The baby has a new tooth coming in. She's teething. It hurts when baby teeth come in. The construction worker has to make the concrete smooth. He has to smooth the surface.
He's seething with anger. He loathes his job, as well as one of his co-workers. A bird at the hand is worth two in the bush. This proverb first appeared in English in 1530 and is still part of our language today. On this globe, we can see North America and the northern part of South America. If you live in the north, you're a northerner. If you live in the south, you're a southerner. They travel the length and breadth of the United States from coast to coast. The hyacinth is a flower that blooms in the spring. It was named after a hero in Greek mythology and was considered by the Greeks to be one of the most beautiful of all flowers. I'm going to have a cup of hot tea. It'll soothe my nerves. My favorite month is April because our dogwood trees start to bloom. My favorite months are April and May. Summer is on its way. Pinocchio didn't tell the truth. Some people tithe to their religious institution. They give 10% of their income. Travelers, there is no path. Paths are made by walking. Antonio Machado She's using a scythe to cut the wheat. It's easy to get lost in a labyrinth or maze. We always hang a Christmas wreath on our front gate during the holidays. Fairy tales and myths are part of childhood. Reading those stories feeds our imagination. How deep is the ocean in this spot? At what depth did they find this shipwreck? At such depths, is it difficult to get to the ship?
How long is the hallway? What is the length of the hallway? In the U.S., tax day is April 15th. We have to pay our federal income taxes before the 15th. This woodworker works at his lathe late into the evening.